Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Pawan and I will be instructor for this course. So who can join this course? Anyone who want to learn advanced fabric operations like adding new organization in the existing application channel or adding a new organization in the consortium or adding a new orderer in the existing running network. These are the different advanced operations and we have to follow certain steps to add these new components in the existing network without disturbing the current setup. For that, we will be covering all the necessary steps in this course. What are the different sections available in the course? So on the screen you can see there are total four major sections available in the course. The first section we will cover how to create a basic network so that on the top of this basic network we will be doing the operations like adding new organization in the existing running network or maybe adding new organization in the existing consortium and the final adding new orderer in the existing network so these are the different oper advanced operation we are going to do on this basic network in the section 1 in the section 1 will be dedicated for creating the basic network and once we are done with that we can start with the section 2 in the section 2 we will add new organization in the existing network in the channel app application channel so when we create a basic network at that time we will create a simple channel between these organizations that is the application channel and in that application channel at the runtime if we want to add a new organization so that part we will cover in the section 2 so that once this new organization get added into the application channel that organization can interact with the other organization using this medium channel which this new organization will be part of after successful addition of this organization into the channel so in the section 3 we will cover how to update the consortium so when we talk about the consortium all the consortium information available in the system channel so in the section 2 we have added this organization in the application channel but what what if this organization want to create a new channel so this organization will not be able to create a new channel because this third organization is not a part of consortium channel that is the system channel to create a channel this third organization should be the part of this consortium so in this third section we will add this organization in the existing consortium and once we successfully add that new organization in the existing consortium we will create a channel with organization 1 and organization 3 and let's try to invoke some transactions using some, some, some smart contract we will install on it and in the final section that is the section 4 we will add a new orderer in the existing network so in the first section we have created the basic network and this basic network will, will have three different orderer and final step that is the section 4 we will add fourth orderer in the existing network so these are the different four steps we are going to cover and one more thing if we are comfortable with these steps so trust me you can update anything in the application anything in the network you can say so coming to the next one in the first section we will be creating how to create a basic network so i have created one repo where i have created the basic network using this different component on the screen you can see uh, actually this is the transaction flow but don't look at this transaction flow just just check this different type of the components like we have two organization first first organization is the order organization second organization is the peer organization so again in the peer organization we have two organization organization one and organization two in the organization one we will have two peer and one of the peer is the endorsing peer in organization one this is the peer zero endorsing pair in the organization one and this is the peer zero as the endorsing pair in the organization two each organization we will have a separate certificate authority for organization one we will have ca organization one for organization two we will have ca organization two and these are the different components in the orderer organization we will have three different raft orderer so using this different component we will be creating our net basic network and we will be creating the channel, instanti installing, instantiating the chain code and finally invoke, invoke some of the transactions and query these transactions so that we can 
we can just verify that uh, previously added transactions once we add a new organization on orderer coming to the next part that is adding a new organization in the application channel when we talk about the adding a new organization in the existing channel there are some certain steps we have to follow so the first step would be creating the crypto material for new organization so in the first section we will have our network up and running and that is the basic network having two organization each having two peer three orderer cluster and we will be running this network from the scratch like creating these crypto materials creating the channel artifacts creating the channel and finally installing and instantiating the chain code these all these steps we are going to cover in the first section only and and the top of that we have to add this new organization in the existing network so that creating first step is the creating the crypto material second step would be the generating definition file for the organizations third step will be the fetching configuration channel configuration block so this is the general procedure for fetching the configuration block so in the third step once we are done with the fetching the configuration block we have to add some necessary changes in the configuration block and finally sign that block with the proper admin user as per the policy and once we are successfully submitted that update to the orderer later on we can just start our org3 containers like certificate authority cows db and the peer container these are the three different containers we will be creating and in the third organization we are considering only one peer so it doesn't matter even though if we are considering one or two but for implementation we will be covering one you can add two as well if you want once we run this container later part we will fetch the channel block we can join with this newly or new peer organization in the channel and once we join the channel we can just check that all the data previously added in the base in the first section that will be synced with this new organization peer in the cows db so once you can we can just verify that and another last step would be the adding new transactions and just checking the if that cows db is getting properly updated or not another one thing i want to point out here this fetching the configuration block adding necessary update in that block and finally sign and up sign and send that updated block to the orderer this process is the common so we have to follow certain steps for that like fetching the configuration block update necessary changes and sign with the proper credentials and finally send to the orderer so you can see in the you can see in the diagram this is the configuration update flow so this will be common and we will be using frequently in our course so generally what happens when we want to change anything in the channel even though it's a system channel or the application channel we have to fetch that configuration block from the orderer once we fetch that configuration block just extract that particular json for json uh, config.json part and once we are extracted so just add necessary org3 data in that and just modify that block so after that once we complete this modification so this is the modified block and this is the original config.json so for computing the update so config tx letter tool understand only protocol format so for that purpose we have to convert this extract config.json and the modified config.json in the protocol format and finally we can compute the update using these two different protocol format block and finally we will get one protocol format block only and at this step we have removed the wrapper we have to add the same wrapper here like header of the channel i will show you when we are implementing that all the things this uh, implementing the configuration update here we will get a update dot protocol format we will add that uh, convert into the json add that wrapper and finally again convert into the protocol format and this is the final block updated uh, protocol format block we have to sign this configuration updated block and send to the orderer so we will get successful response once it get properly submitted in the next video we will be covering the remaining sections of this course thank you